Consider the following observations of a chemical change. A small amount of orange-red solid is heated in a test tube. A little explosion occurred and a green powder was obtained. The mass of the green solid was found to be less than that of the original orange-red solid. Which of the following chemical equations is consistent with the observations above? According to the observations, the starting material is a solid, so we need at least one solid reactant. One of the formulas on the left hand side of our chemical equation should have a solid label. We see this in choices A, B, and C, but not in choice D. The S in parentheses stands for solid. In choice D, both reactants are in aqueous solution. This means that the substances are dissolved in water. One of the products is also a solid. Therefore, we can rule out choice C. The products in C are a liquid and a gas. The observations tell us that the solid product has less mass than the original solid reactant. Therefore, we can eliminate choice A as well because of the solid magnesium oxide. The chemical equation given here implies more mass. The mass of magnesium oxide would be expected to be equal to the combined mass of the reactants, magnesium and oxygen. This is an example of a combination or synthesis reaction, where two or more reactants will combine to form just one product. We expect the product mass to be equal to the combined mass of the reactants. We therefore expect it to have more mass than any one of the reactants. Therefore, the correct answer must be choice B. Let's examine choice B. We can see here that there is only one reactant, solid ammonium dichromate, and there are three products, nitrogen gas and water vapor, which will escape from the test tube since they are gases, and Cr2O3, which is chromium oxide, that will remain in the test tube since it is solid. We would therefore expect the chromium oxide to have less mass than that of the original solid. This is an example of a decomposition reaction. A decomposition reaction is one where you only have one reactant and you end up with two or more products. Here we have one reactant, ammonium dichromate, and three products, nitrogen, chromium oxide, and water vapor. In any reaction, the total mass of the products equals that of the original reactant. Therefore, for a decomposition reaction, any one of the products must have less mass than that of the original reactant. As a final note, you can also figure out the answer to this question if you are familiar with the properties of the substances given in the chemical equations, or by looking them up. You will find that ammonium dichromate is in fact orange-red in color and chromium oxide is green. This reaction is commonly used in chemical demonstrations. The explosion resembles that of an erupting volcano.